Hi guys, it's Shaylee, and today is Vlogmas Day 17, and I'm giving you my top Tattoo Movers 11, because I'm throwing in a bonus one, but it's my um, top 10 um, high-end favorites of 2016, and I'm just going to get started. I have two skincare items, both from Clinique, that I'm going to start with. Um, the first one is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Not the lotion, the gel. The gel works so much better for my skin. Um, I think the lotion was just way too heavy. So this, it just, if my face is ever freaking out like it was last week, I go revert back to this and it just works wonders and I love it. The other Clinique item is the Clinique Moisture Surge, the Extended Thirst Relief. Um, this is basically like this gel, but like on steroids. It's so moisturizing. I, I love this so much. I love this a lot more than I love this one. But this is great on a daily basis. This is great for like in the winter when my skin is super, super dry. Um, but if you've never tried these out, or if you didn't like the lotion, definitely try the gel. If you have super dry skin, I say try this out because the thin layer works wonders. Okay, the next items, let's talk about eye primers next. Um, I have two eye primers. I have the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and this is a new product to my collection. It's the yellow-based one. Um, they have Painterly, which everybody else knows. Painterly is um, the more like pinky-toned one, so basically you just pick whichever one works better for you. Um that I know of. I don't know about darker skin tones just because I don't really have a dark skin tone, but um, I got this around Halloween and I've been using it every single day since and well every single day I wear makeup and I love this so much. I understand the hype about it and it makes, I want to use this every single day instead of my other um, like color tattoos and things, but this is definitely money well spent. My other one is the um, Laura Mercier, Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. This is from the Sephora Playbox. Um, I'm going to give you a swatch of this one just because it's so beautiful. I wore this last night as you guys saw in my um, Get Ready With Me. And I put Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop mixed together. Um, the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill over it. It was beautiful. I fell in love with this instantly, and I might repurchase this or try and find a dupe for this once um, this is all gone. Um, and they're totally worth the money. I would buy a full size because it stayed from 5 up until past midnight. So, good job, Laura Mercy. Um, I have one. I have two face products. The first one I want to talk about is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette collaboration um, that has Rose Spritz, Amaretto, Pample Mousse, Champagne Pop, and Prosecco Pop. But basically, I want to talk about three of these. Oh, look it. There's me. Um, I want to talk about, let's see, what's this one? Amaretto. I love this shade. You see my bullet journaling stuff behind me. And then I love Champagne Pop. I like Champagne Pop more than Prosecco Pop. These are swatches of them. Champagne Pop here and Prosecco Pop here. But I really love them mixed together. Prosecco Pop's a little bit too gold for me. But when I mix it in with Champagne Pop, it's perfect. Um, if you haven't tried them and you can still um, can get like the split pans with Prosecco Pop or anything, definitely try it. Um... But definitely try Champagne Pop if you haven't. It's beautiful. The next base product I have is the It um, Cosmetics Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer. And this is a very warm toned bronzer. Um, but that's the real reason why I like it. It's a very light swatch. This is the main reason why I like it. This is a beautiful, like, summer bronzer you know like how you just want to like have like that nice like warm look to you like not sunburned but like kind of sunburnt tan you know what i mean this is great for that and i love
love this. It blends beautifully. And it makes me really want to try more It Cosmetics things. Like face product wise. Um, I have two eyeshadow palettes to show you guys. The first one is discontinued. But I wanted to share it with you guys anyway. Just in case you have this in your collection and you haven't touched it in forever. This is the Urban Case Smoked Palette. I love this palette so much. I used up completely um, Freestyle and Kinky, these two shades in my product pan this year. But I absolutely love Mushroom. I love Barlust and Loaded. Those are like my three favorite shades. Do you guys see that? Like, they're so pretty. And I'm really so upset that Urban Decay discontinue this palette so there's mushroom bar lust and loaded i love the other shades too but these three just stand out to me and they're so pretty um if you have this palette and you haven't touched it definitely bring it back out and try it freestyle and kinky were great shades too um and then the other cult favorite currently is the modern renaissance palette by anastasia beverly hills Guys, just, just look at it. That's all you do. Just look at it. I'll swatch a couple of them. Um, let's do Antique Bronze, Primavera, Love Letter, and Warm Taupe. So those are just four shades. Do you see how pigmented that is? We're going to try and swatch them all so you can see them. This palette blends beautifully. It layers beautifully. Awkward swatches, but those are the four shades swatched. They're so pretty, guys. Like, if you don't have this it, and you love warm looks, try this. Because no matter what type of look you do, it's beautiful. Plus, I have four lip shades. Um, first is Bite Beauty um, Glossé. This is a 100 point perfect. I got from Sephora. I just love the formula of these, and this color is beautiful. Um, I plan on purchasing this if I can, because I got this after, um, before they reformulated it. Um, but I really, really love this color and this formula. Highly suggest trying out Bite Beauty. Next, I have the Smashbox little. I got this in my Sephora Playbox as well. I'm pretty sure this is called Driver's Seat. And most of my high end lip products are like everyday colors. So that's Driver's Side. And these are the um, liquid. What are these? These are like their new liquid lipsticks that they just came out that everybody raves about. Totally understand why they're perfect. Like perfection. And the last two I have are both by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have Androgyny and Gemini. And I just love these so much. Um, I need to shake this one up. I love these so much. They're such a great formula. Um, if you haven't tried them, I highly, highly suggest trying them. I need to find this one to swatch. Um, they stay on the lips wonderfully. They come off easily. They're super lightweight. Um... And he has some really awesome colors. So, there's Androgyny and there's Gemini. I highly suggest trying them out. Um, but yeah, that was my top technically 11 um, of 2016 high-end products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you for Vlogmas tomorrow. Bye.